we're scared of the unknown. Is that sense of anticipation before the moment where you jump, 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 jump? You have to mentally prepare yourself to get jump, to jump, 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 jump. a state where you can hold your breath and not panic, not panic, not panic. Not panic. Okay, we're on earth to begin. We do a private press conference, we can wave goodbye on steps of the rocket, everybody's taking photographs and shouting over here, hello, look at us over here. It was the plans that we had. The plans reduced anxiety. Um, the, the, the fact that there is no unknown means that there's no fear. And there's a sudden moment of chaos. You temporarily can't really see anything because you're surrounded by bubbles and the noise of the big splash. I shut out everything around me and I know that I've got one thing that I need to do. We also went, ugh, and just breathed out quickly like that. And suddenly feeling weightless. Um, but you get this wonderful release. I was in the reception room where they process what's going to happen to you. And for, for that period, I was, I had a cellmate. I was actually in a four-person cell. So it was um, quite roomy. You can hear the bangs going on. You get this constant white noise. And suddenly, your ears sort of go, relax. It's kind of like everything else just fades away. You become weightless. You're enveloped in this kind of bubbling, crackling noise. And the background sounds of the ocean. And everything becomes really calm. So it was the silent retreat on my own. Looking out of the window. Looking out across the plains of India. Everybody, everything that I had ever known was back down on Earth. And, um, and, and I was away in space, I couldn't touch it. And our sense of self is so used to relating to something. My sense of me, sense of ego. And it kind of reassures us that we're okay. I used to get depressed and get anxious. I was experimenting in a way. The thing that was absolute torture, completely unbearable for someone in their mid twenties, was to know that everyone that you cared for, you, you, your friends and lovers, were all just carrying on with life. Mission Control would give us Radio Moscow. It was so important to maintain that sense of connection. Somehow, from somewhere, the, the inspiration of that event as, as a, you know, 80, 100,000 people marching through the street, it has such a profound effect on, on the ideas and the thoughts and the morale of people in wider society. And as it came through on the radio, the whole of the prison were banging on the pipes and the whole prison was ringing with the sound of solidarity. The team that said, yes, we've done it. Yeah, I think that feeling, hearing that roar around you is so uplifting.
you get used to not speaking. It was then kind of strange to hear your own voice again. We are a team at the end of the day. We don't leave anyone behind. So I, I came out relatively slowly um, and took time the world had changed. I only realised when I came back to Earth, what I had not thought about one bit was any of my possessions. The spaciousness and the clarity of the stars. Relief. Safe. Elation. My crewmates. Friends and lovers assembled. So it was a mixed a mixture of glad to come back into a relationship but I also realized that I was very different. You know, things had changed. I had changed quite, quite deeply. And, and it, was like, it was like having to rediscover myself in a sense. Saying goodbye to them is, is it's at the back of my mind. It's there. Suddenly, that space station seemed like it could be a million miles away. 